All right, so you've probably heard about the Lakewood Ranch area if you've been considering moving to Florida. But today, we're standing inside one of the newest villages within Lakewood Ranch to be built. It's really like a master plan community within a master plan community. So if you've ever thought about relocating to the Lakewood Ranch area, then stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Francesca Hanahoe. And I'm Richard Hanahoe. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure you head on over and hit that subscribe button and tap on that notification button as well so you get notified every time we upload a new video just like this one, showing you all of Lakewood Ranch, where to live, eat, sleep, work, play, everything. Yeah, ever since we've been doing these videos, we've been getting calls, texts, and emails from people just like you wanting to relocate to the Lakewood Ranch area. And we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about relocating, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, whichever one you prefer, days, nights, or weekend, because we have you covered when you're relocating to the Lakewood Ranch area. All right, well, today, like I mentioned, we are standing in the newest community or village that's located within Lakewood Ranch, and this is called Star Farms. And like I mentioned, it really does feel like a master plan community within a master plan community. There's a lot going on here. They're gonna have villas, townhomes. They have a 55 and up area. Um, it's not specifically 55 and up. It's uh, not gonna be restricted, but they're calling it age targeted. Um, they're also, it's also gonna be gated. You know, it's quite large, this new village. Some, we're gonna have some very high-end custom homes as you can see behind us now. Yes. So we're gonna have some high-end custom built homes homes all the way down to villas and townhomes. There's really going to be a lot going on here. It's really a multi-generational village that has a little bit for everyone. Wait until you see what they are going to do with the amenities here. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we're talking about 700 acres here yeah. with over 1,500 homes. Yep. So this is a very large master planning community that we would love to show you today. Yep. So, all right, well, I guess what we're going to do is start with what we have behind us is, you know, basically some of these luxury home models here behind us. This isn't every builder that's going to be in this community, but just the luxury home builders. So we're going to go ahead and start with the best and go from there. We're going to show you what some of these luxury homes have to offer. All right, let's do it. So this builder right here is actually a custom home builder. So keeping that in mind, you can customize this home. This particular builder has eight floor plans to choose from. And this model right here is actually available for a lease back. This specific builder has three different levels to choose from. So what you're looking at in this model, as you see on this sign, has no upgrades. This is called their executive level. Then they have signature and then they have platinum. But obviously if you see an appliance package that you want and it's not in the level that you chose, you can swap those out because like I said, this is a custom builder. So if you don't want to keep that refrigerator out in your garage, look at this right here, right next to your main refrigerator. So when you're living in Florida, you know you gotta love your outdoor living. You got your kitchen right behind you, you got your dining area right here, and you got these beautiful sliders. Look at this. gets better. Oh, we have your in the kitchen as well. And the views you get here. So one of the things that we also wanted to talk about was that 
this conservation area back here is actually a conservation area, so you do not have to worry about anything being built back here. So if you purchase one of these lots that's on this road right here, this is gonna stay conservation. On the, in, Just, on, on the other side of this conservation is one of the three clubhouses that will be inside here, Star Farms. All right. So that's uh, home number one that we are leaving right now. And we're about to walk into the next one, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, ask you guys to leave a comment in the comment section and let us know which house you prefer. This is gonna be house number one. So, or house A. Uh, which now, one is it? House number one or house A? <laughs> this is house A, which was the first home that we walked into. Now we're gonna walk into the second one, which is gonna be B. All right, here we go. This custom builder has five floor plans you can choose from that are fully customizable here in Star Farms. You can meet with their architects in their design center in one location located right off of Fruitville Road, which is in the southern part of Lakewood Ranch. So make sure you let us know in the comments which house you prefer. House one is A and house two is B, is B the one that we just came out of. And just to also let you guys know, if you're interested in building with either one of these builders, they both have about three lots left in this community, or this phase, I'm sorry. And then they also have two more phases coming into this community. Remember, we told you in the beginning, there's gonna be about 1,500 single family homes in this community. So we have two more phases left and they're gonna have about 18 lots all together between both of them to choose from. Yeah, so not only do, is this builder building here in Star Farms, but all three of these custom builders that are in here, we know where they're building. They're building in other places yeah. in the area. Yep. And I'll give one of them to you, is here in Lakewood Ranch, in another part of Lakewood Ranch. And if you'd like to know where it is, just go ahead and comment below. Also, they'll be building close to the water. They're gonna be building closer to Venice. Yep. Um, I can give you that as well. Um, there's some other places they'll be building. Again, just comment below and we'll get back to you. Another thing I wanna put out there for you guys, what we do for our clients, uh, with my background as a builder developer, uh, when you're building this type of home, let's just say you're out of state. I do a lot of watching the house for you. So let's just say you go to contract, you go to your pre-construction meeting, you get everything going and you're building your home. I do a lot of videos for our clients, you know, so I can take them with my cell phone. Uh, obviously we use cameras, uh, we can do FaceTimes. We can do all these different ways to show you your home, why it's getting built and the different stages. Also, you know, if, if you really don't want to get involved in the FaceTime, I can just go out, take a video of a particular stage or something you're looking for and send you that video. So that's just one of the things that we do for our clients. Yeah, and tell everybody, I thought this was really cool. Um, one of your videos helped our clients that were building a home recently. Yeah, we, we had a client, they built a home and it just so happens inside their shower, they had built in a nice shower nook area where they could put in, you know, obviously their shampoos and that type of stuff. And the builder actually covered that up with drywall and put tile over it as well. So it basically just disappeared. Uh, but due to the video that I took, uh, our client actually watched the video prior to closing and saw that this was covered up. So of course the builder had to fix it. Yeah, so our video helped our client catch something that uh, maybe would have been missed, but I just thought that was interesting. But just so you guys know, we are relocation specialists. So probably about 95% of what we do is help people just like you relocate from all across the whole United States. So if you're interested in relocating here, make sure you reach out to us. All right, let's check out the rest of this community. All right, so we're driving around the rest of the community and I wanna show you this other builder that's building the rest of the products that they're gonna have in this community, which is gonna be the single family homes, the villas and the townhomes. Now, this builder is building out of several of their lines. This one in particular that you're looking at is single family homes. They start around 380 in the 380s for 1,560 square feet, going up to all the way up to 4,000 square feet. So for around 682, 682,000, you can get a 4,000 square foot house that's five bedrooms. 
um, and then of course your options will be on top of that. So some really beautiful, affordable homes. Also, one of the things that we love about this builder is the fact that they're building block on block construction. So that means the bottom floor is block and the top is block. Richard, go ahead and tell them why you love block on block construction. Yeah, block on block is, is actually a really good way to build here in the state of Florida. Uh, due to our climate and weather and everything else going on here. Uh, most builders in the state of Florida, they build with your first story block and then your second story is frame construction. Um, but what this builder is doing with the block on block really assures me that when their product is complete, you're gonna get a superior product at the end of the day. You're gonna have less deferred maintenance and you're gonna have a stronger home. Yeah, because what happens when it's when it's wood on the top and then you have stucco on top of the wood, sometimes when there's settlement cracks or any kind of cracks, water can come in and then there can be water intrusion, correct? Absolutely. If, if you don't do the deferred maintenance on the second floor, uh, you could have water damage into your house. Um, what's very common in the state of Florida is that on the second story, uh, as that, that frame is shifting with the winds, and, and so on, that you'll get a crack in the stucco. And if you don't do the deferred maintenance, water will get inside that crack, which then in turn will get inside your home eventually and could cause you some problems. Right. So again, it's really a deferred maintenance issue. Wood frame on the second floor is not a complete negative. It just gives you a better product if you are first story and second story block. All right, so we're driving past the townhomes now. And so the townhomes start in the 380s. Um, they're somewhere around 1,600 square feet going up all the way almost to 1,800 square feet. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you the type of townhome you can purchase and live in in Star Farms. Obviously, as you can see, they also have garages and uh, they're block on block construction as well. All right, so we're driving through. Like I mentioned, um, there's one other builder that's building the rest of the lines here, which is gonna be the 55 plus line. And then they have a high end line that they're building. And then they also are doing the villas and the townhomes. And then they have their other line, which is single family homes. So what we're driving through now is some of the 55 and up homes that again is age targeted but not restricted. So we're gonna go ahead and show you some of these completed homes. The 55 and up homes start in the 380s and go up from there. They're around 1500 square feet to 2000 square feet. And then the high-end homes that they're building are somewhere between 500 and 700. And they're um, about 2000 square feet up to 4000 square feet. Beautiful homes. So let me turn this around and show you what's going on here. Okay, so these are the 55 and up line that you're seeing right here. And now we're gonna drive over to, um, over here right in front of us is where their higher end product is. That's between five and 700. They're the homes that are a little bit larger between 2,000 square feet and 4,000 square feet. And they also have three car garages. And you can see their villas here as well. All right, and now here is the custom homes that I was talking about. Custom homes? I mean, not the custom homes, the high-end homes from this particular builder. So uh, there's a lot of construction traffic in this community today, lots of building going on, so it's understandable. All right, 
so something we haven't talked about yet, and that's gonna be the amenities that they have here. They're gonna have three different amenity centers here, and the developer who is building the amenities here is the same developer who built the Esplanade and is in charge of those. So it's said that he actually wants to do these amenities bigger and better, and he wants to outdo the Esplanade and those amenities that they have. And if you've ever been to the Esplanade communities, either one of them, you know that it's really like being on vacation. So if you're looking for somewhere to live where you feel like you're on vacation and you want to go sit by the pool and have a drink or order some food, this is something that you're going to be able to um, expect when you come here. And that's what the Esplanade has as well. So these are supposed to outdo the Esplanade. That's what we're hearing. There's going to be three different centers. One is going to be specifically for the 55 and up community that is in here. And it's going to have your pickleball, your bocce ball, um, and all of those types of amenities. And then another amenity center that's gonna be for the rest of the community is gonna be hospitality staffed. You know, of course there's gonna be your resort style pool and your fitness centers and your beach area with cabanas. Um, there's gonna be- a bar and grill. Yeah, and there's gonna be a coffee shop. And then in the other amenity center, it's supposed to be kind of like a social gathering for the families and the kids. And they're gonna have groups and stuff for the kids to attend after school. So after school programs, for your kids after school. I'm sorry, I think that's so nice. I, as a mother, can appreciate that. That is gonna be worth a lot. So there's gonna be basketball courts, baseball, um, there's gonna be four square, and there's gonna be an adventure park. Um, and while we're talking about that also, there is an, a trail that goes through this community that's for walking or biking and so whatever you wanna do. Um, maybe get your, your rollerblades out, or maybe you have an electric scooter. Um, that's what or I'm, if you're a big runner. Yeah. So there's gonna be a large um, trail going throughout this community as well. So lots to look forward to. The amenities haven't been built yet, um, so there's really nothing for us to show you in the way of amenities. But trust me when I tell you, it is definitely going to be something special. We have seen renderings of all these clubhouses yeah. and they are very nice. <clears throat> and just a little bit further, uh, infrastructure in, in one of these uh, amenity centers is underway right now. So yeah. that's a good sign that should be done in a few months. Yeah, and going back to, since I did mention the kids and the after school programs, speaking of which, I did wanna mention that this community is located inside Bradenton because um, if you've been watching, you know that Lakewood Ranch is actually in Sarasota and in Bradenton, but this community is located in Bradenton. It's Manatee County and it's also zoned for Lakewood Ranch schools. So that's pretty important if you're moving here um, for you to know for your kids. Yeah, and as always, some driving directions for you. If you're on I-75 and you're coming south or you're going north, you can get off on Highway 70 and you'll head east to Lorraine Road and just go ahead and head north on Lorraine Road and uh, you'll come up to a pretty large intersection. You'll make a right there and that'll bring you over here to Star Farms. So when you're in here at Star Farms, you're in the far north east corner of Lakewood Ranch. Yep. Um, so we hear there's some more expansion going on in this northeast corner, but as of right now, you're the northeast corner. And if you are trying to get to, let's just say, the local uh, town center with inside uh, Lakewood Ranch, uh, it takes you about 15 minutes. And if you're looking to get to your closest Publix, uh, you're looking at about I actually tracked it nine minutes, so 10 minutes uh, <laughs> to get to your local Publix and depending on traffic. If you're looking to get to some major shopping like uh, the University Town Center, the UTC, uh, you're looking at 20 to 25 minutes depending on traffic. If you are trying to get to our beautiful beaches that, that we have down here, uh, you're looking at anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes depending on traffic, time of day, and so on. Um, if you're looking to get to the Sarasota Bradenton Airport, uh, again, you're looking at somewhere around 30 to 40 minutes, depending on traffic. All right, well, we had a lot of fun showing you Star Farms and all of the builders in here and the custom built luxury homes. There's a lot going on here. So if you want any more information, please make sure you reach out to us for more information. Yeah, give us that call, shoot us that text, shoot us an email. All right, guys, we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. It was fun, bye.